Hey everyone, and welcome back to Mirror's Edge. I'm Frenzy the Killbot. I have Swordfish and Cletus with me. Hello. Hello. Uh, normally I wouldn't talk over a cutscene, but this cutscene is literally a 20 second clip of Faith running. Just running. She's always running. Who's she running from? Now don't go just charging in there recklessly, kiddo. That's Pope's killer, Mark. Yeah, well, there might be more heat out there. It's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot. You'll be spotted for sure. There must be some way to slip in undercover. What's the hold up? I need to get this on the boat. Processing some paperwork. You'll be allowed for shortly. <laughs> I'm moving cargo here. <laughs> Sounds like it's time for a little All right. Um, Quick, yeah. Goes. For it has been a while since we've done Mirror's Edge, so uh, if you don't remember, we found some crazy plot with some runner cops. That was the Icarus project, uh, and we saw oh, yeah. our the assassin, the person who presumably killed uh, Pope, and who killed Ropeburn uh, on the. The deck of a boat. So, now that is one good color for a boat. Yeah, bright green. Bright lime green. <laughs> what the hell is hmm. in this boat anyway? Yeah, no what idea. is it? Could be munitions, I guess. Might be to do with this project, Icarus. Look, head straight for the deck if that's where you saw this guy. Once you found your killer, get some answers and get out fast. Lots of blue traffic in the area, so get ready for a fight. Why don't you open one of those boxes? Uh, because the boxes are not important. How do you know they're not important if you don't open them? Because I just know. <laughs> um, the radio there you probably can't hear, it's talking about how Kate Connors is going on trial shortly. Um, and here, I, I mentioned uh, these pictures you can find throughout the game. This is the easiest one because it's you, you have to be in this truck. Uh, it's a picture of a bunch of neutral looking faces and one smiling faith. Is it from that janitor again? Presumably. I, I don't really know. They might just be funny pictures just because. Just because. Anyway, here we are on the boat. Um... I think I've said this a bunch of times. Uh, this isn't a great level. <laughs> I don't like having to keep saying that, but it's not. <laughs> I don't think you did say that, but... Not not for this level, but like I've said it for other ones. The train level you said, yeah. it's not a great level. Um, the thing I really don't like about this level is just that there is a whole ton of unskippable fighting and not a lot of, like, running. Yeah. <laughs> Double tap. Yep. Well, <laughs> you had to tap him quite a few times there, actually. <laughs> it seemed like every time you were shooting, your reticle was, like, popping up. It's frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> really show him what for. Alright, so, yeah, this, this level doesn't have a lot of running, like other levels have had running. Um, they're more like platforming puzzles. Than um, free running, I guess. I know how much you love platformers. I mean, I platformers I don't mind. Just this game is supposed to be about like running fast and keep moving. And this level just sort of stops that from happening. It does have some redeeming factors though, and we'll get to those when we get to those. Nice. It's a lot of armor to kick through. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's a... Fuck all your cars. A little bit of that, a little bit of... Otherwise, I wouldn't get to use the machine gun in this level at all, so... What the hey? <laughs> what the hey? It's so like. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see it some more, but not in this level. Makes me think of this. Stealth is optional for this level. Yeah. <laughs> Meme. 
Yes. That was the that was the level I stopped playing the new Splinter Cell was when they put you on rails and made you shoot a bunch of people and I just gave up halfway through and was like, yep. Yeah. Uninstalled the game and didn't look back. Mm. Which one was that? I still never finished the um, first one. Which which is the one after Double Agent? Maybe it oh, was Double Agent. Conviction? Yeah, I think it was Conviction. Yeah. Yeah, Conviction got a little weird. They put you in a courtyard and put you on rails and they make it so you have to kill people and like it was just it looked like a Call of Duty level so I was like yep done yeah I don't remember specifically which one you're talking about but I believe it I regretted buying the game and tried to get it refunded but I already put like seven hours into it at that point yeah I actually kind of like Conviction like I didn't like the forced combat because I like like the way Splinter Cell used to be as well but um I actually like Conviction it did a lot of good stuff I have not played the newest one, Double uh, Blacklist, I think. Is where Blacklist? It's yeah, I think Blacklist is the newest one. I haven't played it at all. I, I kind of want to, like, I have, I think I have all of them. I'm going to do a, a lot of run through at some point, because I love the first and second so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. This is a really good example of a jumping puzzle I'm talking about. You have to move very slowly and spend a lot of time looking around, figuring out where you can jump to. It's just, it's not fast paced. Mm -hmm. She has more upper body strength than I'll ever have. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, what was that, Starfish? Lower cross style? Yeah. Yeah. Upper body strength. Yeah, she. It takes a fair bit to pull yourself up from a full hang. Yeah. But she, she looks like she weighs like 70 pounds, so. Yeah. That's true. But that does. I don't know how it scales. I yeah, I mean it's usually fairly proportional. Women getting the, you know, bad end of that deal because mm -hmm. they have less proportional upper body strength, but I suppose if you really worked on it you could you could do it pretty well. Yeah. I can't. I hate pull ups. You can do a pull up. Oh I can I can do a pull up. I hate them though. Hate him. Yeah. Hate him. You're you're kind of a beefcake lately. <laughs> Every time I come home to visit, thanks. You just got new muscles. Yeah. It's um, pretty surprising. All right, enough of that. Um, <laughs> you can see this. You can see the assassin on the other side of the deck here, uh, with a laser sight. So. How yeah. did he know? I don't know. I mean, I guess there was an alarm raised on the lower decks when we started killing people. True. Wow. Ooh, you took that one to the face. Yeah, this section, um... <laughs> oh! I'm not sure it's possible to get through this without getting hit. Like, maybe it is if you really try. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. You sort of just have to take a couple hits here and there. No whammo. He's using explosive rounds too. <laughs> oh, explosive rounds. Is it Far Cry 3 or is it Far Cry 4 that has explosive rounds you can put in sniper rifles? I don't remember. Me neither. It's been so long in that game, it's just a blur to me. Yeah. It's hilarious though. A hilarious blur, yes. Oh jeez. Yeah. I I kind of don't know what Faith's plan is here. She's gonna knife him. She will. Like the whole thing She's was like get some answers. Really? Uh. Anyway, here's another new thing for Mirror's Edge. Uh, we got kind of a boss fight. <laughs> the Empire. The Empire. <laughs> yeah. Why is he wearing an Empire mask? Um, That's why. <laughs> so the thing is, this game isn't really... This boss fight uh, is like the only time in the game where you ever have to really fight hand-to-hand -hand against someone. Like, you disarm people with guns, but they don't try and punch you back. How much damage can you take? Oh, a lot. I mean, I've seen you fall and die instantly from 
variable heights, but yeah, but getting punched in the face and body and such. This this motherfucker shot you like six times with explosive rounds and then beat the living fuck out of you. Yeah. Where was the sniper? Did she drop it? Or? Yeah, she must have dropped it. Threw it overboard. No evidence. Here she. Here yeah. she. Um. So this chase sequence is actually the like redeeming quality of the level. I really like it. Except the start here, where it starts you off by having to open these two slow doors. Hey, they gotta give her a lead somehow. But she doesn't, she, like, they st stands there. Like, it's probably a loading thing to load the rest of the map, but I just... Ugh. Uh, makes sense. It does, it's just a terrible way to start a chase. But the chase is very cool, I like it. Maybe they thought that the doors would automatically lock. And we're disappointed when they didn't. Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm. You know, that makes me think of like classic load screens, where uh, you know it'd be like, "Get ready for the fight" or something. Then you'd have a, like an actual load screen. Right. That would stop the action a lot more, but I don't think we complain about it because we'd be like, "Well, that's just kind of how it is." <laughs> yeah, I mean, we used to say that, but they kind of got rid of that because. Lots of companies got very good at hiding the load screens. Yeah, it ruins this, the immersion. This game's usually good at it, I agree. Yeah, it, it's not bad. Um, like, it's just that the slowing down the pace of the game in a game like this is really bad. Yeah, yeah. and that was the problem with a lot too. Is like, especially with like games like big games like RPGs and stuff, where it does like legitimately ruin immersion when it kills it like right in the middle of the load for ten minutes. Oh yeah, um, playing Look stuff at you, like Skyrim. Well, Skyrim. Skyrim's not even that bad. I remember, like, Oblivion was way worse. You haven't played it on a console. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. That's where I oh, played it. <laughs> oh, friggin yeah, okay. Oblivion was bad, I guess. But yeah, Skyrim same, on the same computer idea. is amazing, though. Yeah. to warn you off. I'm sorry. You've got to learn to let go, Faith. You remember? What you did with your family. The runners are screwed. Icarus is just the start. And I want to live, Faith, not just survive. Why Pope? His campaign was getting unexpected support, but he got stupid. Started making threats to the wrong people. High up people. He found out about Icarus. So they had you kill him. Him or me. Sorry about Kate. Didn't know she was your sis. Don't ask, Mark. Okay? Heard all I need to hear, kiddo. Listen, Krieg says Kate's just been tried. Already? Wonders of the Swift Justice Program, huh? They found her guilty, Faith. Of course they did. Convoy's taken her off to jail in less than an hour. So what a twist. Oh. What a twist. <laughs> did she die in that explosion, or is she just... Um, I don't know. That's the last we'll ever see of her. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I don't think she was close enough, but also, like, there was no goodbye. Nope. That's it. Uh, she got betrayed by one of her friends who basically sold out everyone for her own sort of safety. And yeah. Uh, I got some outtakes here. But because of the way the level is, they're almost entirely shooting deaths. There's essentially nowhere in this level where you can fall to your death. At least not easily, you have to sort of try.
Man, if I died like that in IRL, like, running up to a machine gun and, like, trying to grab his but missed, I would feel like such a jackass. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. Stay in cover and work your way towards him. To get some answers. Oh. Yeah, let's boat. We. Uh. Yeah. If you uh, if you die from getting shot while sort of moving and jumping, uh, physics does some weird things. It's fun. Mm -hmm. A lot of these deaths are really my own fault for screwing around. Taking too many shots to the face. Yeah, I mean I had to practice. You know, get a good line going. That's um, true. This, I thought, would make a lot of sense, is coming through this building here. Yeah, it, uh... <laughs> <laughs> it does not work. Just fucking murked you. Or she, I guess. Yeah, she. Once you get to the actual boss fight part, like this part here, you can sort of start realizing it. <laughs> all the, uh... attack and hit noises are all... the same as Faith's, I think, actually. If I take off the mask, will you die? It would be extremely painful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be Bane posting, by the way, in your thread. Wonder, I don't know I what hope that you're is. okay with that. It's, uh... You don't know what Bane posting is? I have no idea. It's just like the form of shit posting that I've fallen in love with. <laughs> <clears throat> you basically just watch the first five minutes of the, the Dark Knight Rises and then just post on that. All right. That's it. <laughs> well, cool. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the video. See everyone next time. Get excited for Bane posting. Yep. Prepare yourself. <laughs>